That's more about closing the gender gap and the strengths of having women involved. Your question could be, how does business take collective action on shifting mm. mindsets? And mm. then she's mm -hmm. queued up to do that. Public-private collaboration, I turn to you. I say, this is the reason we're here, we're here for this conversation. Zadia, tell me what you're doing, and then I'll go to them. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Done. Perfect. Okay, that works Perfect. for me. So today's session, we're really happy to have you all here. We know there's lots and lots of other things going on. We're going to try to make today's session really about action. We want to hear about what policymakers can do. We want to hear about what businesses can do and are doing already. And then we want to pull that all together. So Mina, back over to you. Thank you so much. We have strong advocates, voices, and experience from both the private sector and the public sector. A major issue is really to do serious evaluations to make sure you don't have pay inequities. Companies don't know if they have pay inequities unless they look at whether they have pay inequities. Mm -hmm. They actually have to ask the question, and then, lo and behold, the companies that have done this have found, uh-oh, we do, and they actually are correcting them. I must tell you that the engagement that I got from CEOs on this issue this time around was by far the most that I've ever gotten before. It was proactively raised, because you can imagine I do a lot of CEO discussions one-on-one -on -one while I'm here with clients all over the world, all the major ones that you can think of, and they're raising it. And I think it's on their agenda for a lot of reasons, some of the reasons you may not like. You can't afford to no longer bring along 50% of those potential skills. And when that happens, as a CEO, I can tell you, we pay attention, all right? It's gotta be owned by the business. And the first person that has to own it is a CEO. Don't go down the road until that is secured. For me, as a Minister of Finance, this is a fair thing to be feminist, and as a human right, it's also about being smart when it comes to economics. For instance, in Europe, GDP would be 10% higher if we could close the gender gap. We have for decades tried to build structures in our society to enable women to participate in the labor market and be economically independent. I have today a call. If we don't work on it, if we don't address it constantly, we go backwards. It's not even a stillstand, we go backwards.